today I'm talking to Patrick Martin. Patrick has a big focus on profit-driven herd. He uses 50% uh, Belgian blue on his cows, and today I'm going to be talking to Patrick about what's the easiest way, or what's the best way to pick out the cows for using beef bulls on, and also how he markets his calves. Paddy. How are you, George? How are you? Thanks so many for having me down today. You're very welcome, George. Thanks, so let's probably start off and talk a little bit about what you're doing here. Well, I have a herd of 96 cows. I'm doing two thirds calf in the springtime, which is around 60 cows. And in the autumn, then, I have 36 cows calf in the autumn. I have a liquid contract always had here in this farm, always was a liquid contract. Going forward, I'm going to stay, produce milk during the winter. I commit myself with Glombia for the next five years. And um, so that's what I'm doing. And so you, you use a lot of AI here? I use all AI. Never had a bull in this farm. And, and when you're picking your replacements or you're breeding your replacements, how do you go about it? At the moment, I'm still using, breeding mostly Frisians out of my heifers and second calfers. Yeah. Because when I'm using Frisian, I try to use the best Frisian I can get. If I'm not using Frisian, I use Belgian Blue. And by the law, when things are improving every year, the best animals you should have should be the younger animals. The highest EPI is the youngest ones. So normally I use, toward calf was on, I use Belgian Blue. And you, are you chasing the EBI? Is that what, you, what you're, 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 you're chasing? Uh, not chasing. I am chasing at the moment, I'm chasing high solids. Yeah. solids uh, high solids per cow, uh, solids per farm, I suppose. Um, probably, probably want to increase milk a bit more plus the solids. So at the moment, now this year, I'm probably going to push up the milk a bit more in the eye. Yeah. Like, so usually the high EBI bulls are the ones that have the highest, highest solids, highest milk output, plus fertility. Yeah, and do you use uh, AI? Uh, do you have an AI man come in or are you, are you yeah, DIY? Yeah, I don't do it myself. I'm happy with them, yeah. Yeah, and, is it, and how, do you, how do you track your serves? Is it, does it, uh, do you use Herd App for that? I am on Herd App, yeah. So yeah. I used to be in the book, it's written in, but now it's easier. Now it comes out to my phone because I'm with Herd App. And so when the cows inseminated, it comes up on my phone then a couple of days later that she was inseminated and what she was inseminated by. And do you use that? Uh, do you get sire advice for that or, or, or how do you? Well, sometimes I do, but usually I talk to other farmers. I'm in a farm discussion group. So I'd have a look at the catalogue and see what bulls yeah. there that would suit me. Yeah. Not every bull would suit this system. I haven't got, it's a, it's a hilly farm, rocky. Yeah. I wouldn't be that big into Holstein cows. Yeah. I preferred the kind of animals that I have this, not the tall leggy ones, just kind of a little well, bit less good, size. Good, good medium sized cow. Yeah, medium sized cow, that's yeah. where I'd be. Uh, so I see you use an awful lot of Belgian blue. Um, uh, why would you pick the Belgian blue, say, above the more popular Angus or Hereford? Well, I do like Angus as well, but Angus would only use an Angus on a heifer here. They're nice calves and they grow well. Um, the Belgian blue, the big reason I use Belgian blue is they're just so saleable. That's it. I, every Belgian blue calf I had here was sold and sold at the price I wanted to get. Um, there's always farmers. Calls me during the springtime, farmers often called to me that suckling, that looking for the odd calf. And then for the last few years, you also get people that just rearing calves and they just want to buy every Belgian blue calf I have. Now, the gestation length is not as long with the Belgian Blue as some of the other um, bulls. So, the, because of the short gestation, the cows get packed in calf easier and quicker. But I, Belgian Blue is my preferred um, beef bull. I think the calves are very saleable. They're well coloured when they're born, so they're very much standard, standard as being a Belgian Blue calf. Yeah. So I sell all the calves here at around a month old or less than a month old. And at that age, the Belgian blue looks a very saleable calf. And um, I suppose that's the big reason. Just a big it's profit driver for you. A big profit driver, yeah. Like I'm farming to make money, so I do think there's extra bit of money to be made out of the Belgian blues. Then yeah. the Angus, um, it's lovely on heifers. If it was a, a heifer that calved was late or some, for some reason, I wasn't with another bunch of Frisians was after using. I would use Nangus in her. Belgian Blues mostly. I used to use Charlie's and 
used a bit of cement and that, but at the moment, for the last 10 years, it's all Belgian blue. Best suits your system? Yes. I don't like not being able to sell a calf easily. I don't, <laughs> I prefer someone looking for my calves. That's so yeah. this year, it's at the moment now, it's very, very hard to sell Frisian bull calves. And going forward, I'd like to even use more um, Belgian blue and maybe use sex semen if I was happy with the results I was getting. I might even cut back more on Frisian. So That's it. I suppose, what's your philosophy? I mean, I, I, I'm trying to develop my own philosophy yeah. at the moment. I'm going around, I'm talking to all these guys, but what, what, what's your philosophy in, in terms of uh, uh, what you're doing here and, and advice for me maybe going well, forward? Well, the one thing that I do is that I'm in a discussion group which I recommend to anyone that's interested in getting into farming. But the big thing is that, to me, I'm farming to make money for no other reason. Okay, so to make money, I have a family and that. So I pass a lot of heed of farmers that's making money on the farm and try to copy them. And that comes first. So the most possible farmers are the lads that, well, this, like I wasn't in two-year-old calfing around three or four years ago. They were going to two and a half years of age before the calf down, and I changed it two years of age. And I should have been doing it years ago. I was wrong not doing it. Um, so things like that. Um, compact calf in the springtime, like everything calf next spring. I'd have two thirds of the cows a calf in the month of February. There would be very few calf in, in April. I don't think there'd be any calf in April. It's just February, March, and the back end of the year. Then it's really. I start calving in September, the back end of the year. September, October, probably November. I wouldn't be as fussy during the back end of the year yeah. as I would be in the springtime. Yeah. Well, listen, Paddy, thank you, thank you for having me here today. You're very welcome, George. And uh, I enjoy, enjoy talking to you. That's fine, George. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. All the best, George.